guys welcome back welcome back this is to john b in another edition of my ancestry all right so in this video uh, i wanted to go over some new findings that i found uh doing some genealogy research all right so on this video right here i want to show you a photo or photos of what i found of some of my uh cherokee ancestors all right um this photo in particular is of my second great grandfather, Johnny Sherrill, in his graduation class in Carlisle uh, Indian School. All right, so Carlisle was a, a Indian school uh, from 1878 into 1918. All right, so what they did is they brought um, tribes from all over the United States, from Oregon uh, to California to Arizona to the Dakotas. Uh, to the Great Lakes regions, to the southeastern United States, where my ancestors are from. And they brought them together and put them into schools to Americanize them, so assimilate them, basically. All right. Uh, if you notice right here on the top right corner, uh, the, to the second to the end, uh, this is my second great grandfather, John U. Sherrill. Uh, he was an Eastern Cherokee. Uh, he was recorded and documented. I believe as three fourths uh, Cherokee and uh, one fourth European, um, but this was a great find of mine. Uh, I found this particular photo through uh, a cousin of mine uh, through Ancestry. So it was a great find to find this photo, and and you notice their attire. They're uh, dressed more so like Europeans. Uh, their hair short, their dresses, their suits, bow ties and ties. So this is crazy to find uh, find a photo of an ancestor back over uh, about 120 something years or so ago. All right. All right, guys. So this is a before and after photo. Uh, this photo in particular is of Tom Torlino, a Navajo. All right. So on the left side, uh, you can notice. Uh, he's dressed in his normal Navajo attire, uh, the earrings, long hair, his jewelry, and his cloth. Um, on the right side, he's dressed more so of a European style, uh, short hair, bow tie, uh, the, the jacket. And um, so you can see how they were, what they were trying to do. They were trying to take the Native Americans from their indigenous style and dress them more of a European style. Not only that, they were teaching them uh, to no longer speak their indigenous language, and then they were teaching them English. Um, so you see how from the time back in the, the 1800s, late 1800s to present day, why a lot of indigenous people today no longer speak their indigenous language, because they were sent off to boarding schools where they were shunned to not speak their indigenous language. So they were taught not to be native, not to be Indian. It was uh, looked down upon to be that, um, as it may as it may be. I mean, to me, this is a uh, very insane to look at a, a before and after photo of this individual, and this happened to my second great grandfather. Uh, he was um, basically Americanized. Um, he went to school, sent from home from uh, North Carolina, from the the Cherokee village that he was at, and brought to Carousel, um Indian School in Pennsylvania and taught to change his ways of living his indigenous life. All right. Uh, on to the next slide. I want to show you uh, some additional photos. That All right. So this is a photo of my second great grandfather on uh, my grandmother's maternal line. All right. This is uh, the same guy in the, the first photo, uh, Johnny Sherrill. All right, so you'll notice here I was able to actually uh, get the, color, the get the, the photo in color uh, through my heritage. Um, you can tell by his short hair uh, that they were trying to Americanize him. Um, and what I've noticed is uh, he has a similar um, a phenotype uh, as bone structure in his face as myself. Uh, the chin, uh, the little bit of a wider nose, the eyes. And I, I've always wondered where I got the, some of these features from. And it was, uh, I guess it was passed down on my uh, father's side. 
uh, through her his mother. And um, yeah, so it looks very similar. Uh, I want you guys to be the judges of that. I'm going to show you a photo of myself, a recent photo of myself versus a photo of my second great grandfather. All right. All right, guys. So this is a recent photo of myself. So I just wanted to do a, a comparison so you're able to see a, a photo from my second great grandfather, uh, which is uh, three, four or five generations back versus myself. And uh, you notice some of the similarities with the, the bone structure in the face and myself. So this was some of the things I've, I saw when I first time I took a, a look at the photo that I discovered. So I want you guys to be a judge and see um, if you do see the similarities or not. All right, on to the next slide. Thank you. All right, so not only was I able to find my second great grandfather on my grandmother's maternal line, I was able to find my second great grandparents on her uh, paternal line, her father's side. Uh, they were considered snowbird Cherokees. So a little history on the Cherokees. The snowbirds were um, a group of Cherokees that uh, hid in the mountains of North Carolina. Um, they're some of the last full Cherokees. Uh, they, right now they live in an area near Robbinsville, North Carolina, um, near the border of uh, Tennessee and Georgia. All right. So on this photo right here, this is a photo of my second great grandfather, uh, George Washington Rattler. This is the gentleman right here. To the right, you'll notice my great grandfather, Amnes Rattler. Um, so a lot of people don't know um, how full Cherokees look like. And all these people in the photo right here are documented as full Cherokees. So this is how full Cherokees look like. So if anyone needs to, uh, to know how a full Cherokee looks like, revert back to this video and this photo. All right, on to the next slide. All right, so in conclusion, I'm going to uh, conclude the video with this uh, photo right here. Uh, this photo right here is the photo of hundreds of indigenous natives uh, that went to Carlisle uh, back in the 1800s. All right, so I wanted to conclude this right here uh, because I wanted to show you or emphasize how they brought together uh, tribes from all over the, the U.S. and brought them together, the Navajos, the Apaches, the Lakota, the Chippewa, the Sioux, the Cherokee. They brought all these groups together to assimilate them, all right? They assimilated the people to l lose their language, cut their hair, their culture. But you know what? The, the indigenous people that they tried to control and try to change were still here today. So that shows our spirit, that shows um, our culture and history prevailed. No matter how they try to, to treat the indigenous man, uh, the people today, we're still here. Their descendants are still here, like myself. So this is a, um, great to show the spirit of the, the natives the indigenous people of America, we're still here today. Um, for everyone who watched this video, have a great, blessed, and rest of the day, um, and enjoy. Thanks.